Good morning. So, I've just been Whoa. up since before. You really just Nine. came for my brand. <laughs> I don't say good morning, guys. <laughs> I just say good morning. Um, got up with like 40 minutes to have some breakfast out of a glass eaten with a paper cup. P.S. Um, it was pretty good, but we've just made our way to a panel called Responsibility to a Young Audience. Um, the idea was come up with uh, by Hannah and Chester, and they also had Devon and Stuart there, and it was a really interesting panel. So I didn't have enough time to start the vlog before then, um, but really glad I made it to that. So just trying to get some coffee and food before the next one starts, and I think I'm going to head off to BookTube because you know I love books, and I'd really like to see more about getting into BookTube. So that's the day so far, big con day two. Okay, so I just wanted to give you another quick update before BookTube panel starts because it's kind of a little bit nervous just walking out and pretending to be all confident to people. Um, so I've managed to get some coffee. It was a Colombian roast and it's called a 16 ouncer. Um, you and a totally did it in an American accent then. I was just thinking the way she said it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, you got a 16 ouncer and um, a blueberry muffin. It's like, yes. And it was 650 US dollars, so it's a little bit expensive. I'm That's still not really sure. That's really expensive. Yeah, but it's better. You should see the line for Starbucks. I will vlog it later. It goes well out of the store, and it's just ridiculous. And guys, you know I need my coffee, so you do what you do. It's a Colombian roast, though, and it's fair trade, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'm excited for BookTube to start. So I'm just going to give you a quick little preview of what the little hole looks what like. What time is it meant to start? 11. Okay. Ooh, all right. So I'll check in later. Like, I will talk about the things I don't like, but I'll do it in not a negative way, per se. Not in a degrading way, as right. to say, like, oh, this was horrible. Everyone who liked this is ridiculous. You know, just being like, it didn't necessarily work for me in this way, but I can see how, you know, people who enjoy this would also potentially like this. I think it's just being as positive as you can while still sharing your opinion. You being know? respectful. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to be honest, so just do it in a nice, respectful way. You know, get your opinion across in a way that's not mean. I just try to be very specific about what exactly it was that bothered me. Yeah. What I found problematic, what I didn't like. Because you might even be talking about something that other people didn't notice or didn't know about. Okay, so I just thought I'd take this quiet moment now in between the booktube panel being over before the vlogging one starts. And just to say that I don't think I've actually said it already, but these talks, like especially with Hannah and Chester this morning, the responsibility to the young audience was so interesting. Like Hannah had some amazing things to say and I love Hannah. And Chester brought up um, an interesting point of not filtering exactly, but giving a disclaimer on some things uh, or some particular videos. And there's a bit of like a controversy to say, like not going into it how he did, but um, you should check out his opinions on it and see like what you think, because it really is like YouTube and your channels and your videos are opinionated. They're, you know, everything that you create is from your opinion. You shouldn't try and make something from someone else's opinion because, well, it's not, you know, I don't think it's going to be half as interesting because, you know, if you don't like what you're doing, why are you doing it? Um, but yeah, he just had some really great points and I didn't say that earlier because running around and trying to make sure I get to these other talks on time. Um, and the one for BookTube was so, so cool. Like I've been wanting to get more into BookTube and Bookla and I just don't really know how to do it, but I read so much and I love books. I, I literally always have. And now I'm feeling so much more inspired to like go home and do some more book reviews or book recommendations, find book tags. And it was so fun to see them. And now I know some more people to subscribe to for BookTube. Yeah, it was so cool. Um, I'm just feeling really happy because these like lectures, it feels like uni or college, but for YouTube. And let's be fair, that's like that's like the dream. So <laughs> to have like to be able to go to a panel and have people talk about books and BookTube and how to make you and yourself, your channel, better with books. Ah. Yeah, it was really cool and I love Hannah, I love Chester and I loved the booktubers. Um, I've watched a couple of them before like Jesse the Reader and Christine and Regan um, and it was really cool to see them in person but I'm totally going to subscribe to that entire panel because yeah, they they were reading books that I liked and now I'm just blabbing on and on about books but it's because I'm happy and I'm excited. Um, so this one is going to be about vlogging just now and we've come in really early. Um, I got a refill of coffee and 
don't know if I should say this, so this is on the down low. Um, I was going to pay for another 16 ounce, but um, I, at home I just refill my coffee cup and I was like, I kind of want to stay really pepped and energized for this because then after this talk there's going to be like a two hour break in my schedule. Um, and they let me have a free refill. So to the ladies at that canteen, booth thing, thank you so much. It was lovely. And I did say thank you to them, but yeah, thank you. That's amazing. Giving me free coffee after hearing about books. Oh, just at a YouTube convention. Seriously, I'm having a great time. So anyway, going in here and Emma Blackery is on the panel. So this is going to be so exciting. Love her. Um, and I will check in later. <laughs> Okay, so I said I'd show you this queue for Starbucks inside Hilton. Here it is. Here is Starbucks, and here is the queue. Starts all the way out here. Come with me. And there is queue, queue, still going queue. Oh look, they've even had to use ropes for the queue. And then inside, all the way inside. So yeah, getting a Starbucks in here is kind of impossible. <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the crowd. Back in the hotel room now, and all of the little lecture classes of YouTube College are over. Um, this director said from Dan Old Fuck. That's your jargon. Um, this director said from Dan Old Fuck. That's your jargon. That just happened. Yeah, I'm gonna fill you in really quickly because I went to some amazing panels and got to see Charlie McDonald and Brittany Louise Taylor, I Justine, Lindsay Sterling, um, so many other people I can't names, but they were really awesome to hear their thoughts on all sorts of different things and it's been really good. I took some notes, but then I kind of gave up and just wanted to listen. Um, and anyway, we're back in the room and we've had this view of this amazing like setup they've started doing since we got here and there is now a party on. You can see from people's tags like the creators have the purple tags, um, community have red, industry have blue and crew and maybe I don't know what else yellow tags are but I say, I've seen crew on it. Anyway, industry and crew people are down there and um, just saw Dan and Phil enter. And they've gone over to, oh, okay, focus. They have gone over to the bar right at the back. This is gonna be really bad zoom, but Phil is wearing like a, I don't know, blue and white faded top. There is Dern in the black and there's someone in the middle and then Phil. So they're being just like Dill and going over to the mixologists, except yeah, obviously <laughs> oh, me. Back to the <sighs> That's kind of sad that you just get to watch this from a distance, but anyway. Oh, that's Alexa Losey. <gasps> okay, just saw her. Awesome. Sweet. So anyway, um, going to start doing some things, hopefully catching up with a couple more people and doing some nighttime things because that's what you do when the sun goes down. Nighttime things. That sounds more suggestive than I ever meant it to. Okay, so it may look like I'm going to Disneyland right now because, yeah, look at this. Disneyland and Disney stuff all behind me, but we're actually just walking through to go to downtown Disney. Um, but I can hear all the Disney music and it's exciting and everyone's dressed up and it's nice. Um, but yeah, we're just going down to downtown Disney, down to downtown Disney. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm with Katie P.S. Hey! And um, we're going to meet up with some of the people for some dinner. Uh -oh. How exciting! Just my face smiling because this is a happy place. <laughs> Oh. 
Let's go eating. We've ordered, but uh, I'll show you when it comes. The pizza looks huge. Okay, so here is our pizza, and just before we break it up, this is the scale. This is my hand, and it, yeah, it's hot. I'm not touching it, but there you go. Pizza. And I got some green beans because A, I love them, and B, you know, I need some healthy food. Healthy? Yeah. Close up of pizza, pizza. Pizza time. I also tried out some other amazing things, but didn't buy them because um, Kat Von D isn't actually available for us and we've only got Sephora in Sydney. We are walking through to exit downtown Disney and I thought I'd just end this vlog here because I'm not entirely sure what's going on for the rest of the night, but otherwise I will film the ending in the dark once again and I didn't want to do that. So why not end it here where it's nice and happy and bright and lovely. Um, yeah. So thanks for joining me again on VidCon Day 2. I hope you see me, I see you. Either way, we see each other uh, tomorrow for Day 3. So thanks for watching and good night.